How long do we got to wait for the executioner wasp? Introducing this is Florida's executioner, executioner wasp. I will be getting stung by the executioner wasp. No, really, the executioner wasp is endemic to Latin in South America. However, this is Florida. I'm sure in time, there is a chance these wasps will inhabit here as so many other non-native species have. I will give you my best description of what the executioner wasp will be like by testing the sting of a very close relative. First, I have to address all the comments. Let's talk about the cow killer sting. There is a man named Justin O. Smith and the sting pain index is something he built. Almost every insect sting is something he felt. The Sting of the Wild is a book he wrote. This book helps explain something very interesting. Sting. I'm not just going to leave you hanging. Introducing, Introducing Plessis Carolina. Carolina. Lights. Camera. Action. A wasp that can't even fly. Its sting hurt so bad it made a grown man cry. So I started on my journey to find a hardened velvety predator that was so powerful it was known as the cow killer. The wasp injected venom inside of me its victim. I watched as the wasp rubbed its eyes. Pain seared through my arm like a hot knife. Posting my reaction on YouTube. The stunt generated 43,000 views. I have no film crew. My subscribers are few and the only thing I care about is the truth. Plestes Carolina. Lights. Camera. Action. Alright, so right here we have Plestes Carolina. A very large um, vespid wasp that lives here in Florida. It's brightly orange in coloration. Uh, they reach lengths of up to 33 millimeters. Um, not exactly the executioner wasp, but it is in the same family as the executioner wasp. This wasp, however, is indigenous here to Florida, where the executioner wasp is not. It is in the Palestes family, which so is the executioner wasp. And that stinger is actually very versatile. You can see he can reach all around in all directions behind his head and to the sides in order to uh, make sure he stings whatever prey or predator tries to mess with this guy. I've never seen this documented, um, so I'm going to be the first to ever document the sting of the Plessis Carolina. And when he stings me, I'm going to mark the region to which the swelling is over a time period. So I'll go ahead and start now with the sting. Whew, here we go. Where are you going to do it at? On your forearm? Right here on my forearm. Okay. When he stings me, I'm going to... Run like hell. No, I'm just kidding. All right, are we filming? Sting of the Plessis Carolina. Make sure one has my facial expressions and one has my arm. All right, here it is. This is going to be the sting of the Plessis Carolina. There it is. Okay, he's injecting venom right now. I don't feel a lot yet. Zoom in down there, you can see the stinger inside my skin right there. Looks like a leg. Yeah. That's his stinger. Alright, so I feel like he's in. Oh, yeah. There's the sting right there. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and release this wasp. That's where the sting site was. I'm gonna go ahead and release the wasp. Hang on. You can see the sting right there. Where's yep. Go ahead and circle it. So that's the initial sting. Just a few minutes and see how the swelling is on that. So we're going to set a timer now and see just how bad that sting actually is. I'm going to go ahead and let this guy back go in his home and we'll monitor that sting as we go. Alright, I need to let this guy go back into his colony. I try not to keep these animals for too long of a time. I want to make sure they go back home where they belong. So I'm going to let him go right now. This is the initial sting side. It's been about one minute so far. All right, y'all, we're right at five minutes, and I want to show y'all the progression of the insect sting. Here is the swelling site. It has not gotten much larger after five minutes. I went ahead and had to go inside because the, uh, so right here is where the immediate swelling is, and you can see the redness has sw spread to around this area. And as far as pain goes, I would give this a 1 out of 10. Not very painful at all. Matter of fact, barely more than a pinprick. So, probably hard to compare it to the Executioner Wasp. Um, obviously that wasp is very painful. 
Um, but that is one of the closest pieces we have to the execution wasp here in Florida. Um, so it's going to be really hard to compare that. Exciting news. Y'all may hear an ominous hum right next to the camera. Upon releasing what we'll call Florida's execution of wasp, which is really just Palestis Carolina, I spotted this. This is a tarantula hawk. Florida's tarantula hawk. He was killing a very large spider. So, as you already know, yes, I'm going to get stung by this, and maybe this will give us a different result. So, be sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button if you like this video, and uh, stay good. When I was a child, I remember my father finding a yellow rat snake in our birdhouse. He told me about the circle of life, and through time I learned about the balance of our ecosystems. Every day a new adventure, a new creature, shows like the crocodile hunter. It became my goal to catch every species of animal possible. Then YouTube came along and gave me a platform. Now I can share with my subscribers. Thanks for your support, it means a lot to me, the Florida Wildlife Guy.